top of my tree. I bet you guessed it. What do you think we're talking about today? Angel! That's right, we're gonna talk about angels. And then we're gonna make this beautiful paper plate angel that you can put on top of your tree. So we're gonna start with our story here about all the different angels in the Bible. So, Alexis, can you share with us what are some angels in the Christmas story that you remember? The angel that told Mary and Joseph um, uh, about that they were going to have a baby mm -hmm. and the one that told the shepherd. That's right, so we have some different angels in our Christmas story. We actually wanted to share our advent calendar with you here. This is a nativity advent. As you can see up at the top here, we have Mary and Joseph, they're already there in the stable. Manger is empty. And then it has 25 different days. So Alexis, can you pull out day number one? And let's see what we have for day number one. Well, tell everybody what it is. An angel! An angel! So where do you want to put it in our nativity? Right. And we'd love to know who's watching with us today. So if you could share your name and where you're from. We'd love, oh, and your age too. That's always fun to know. We'd love to know who's watching with us today. So we're gonna start while everyone's kind of saying their hellos. We're gonna start and then we're going to go over some angels in the Christmas story. So this first angel we know came to who? Mary, right? So the first angel came to Mary, angel Gabriel came to Mary and she told Mary, Mary, you are blessed among women and you are gonna be the mother of baby Jesus. But the angel also went to Joseph to make sure that he understood that he was to marry Mary and they were to Mary have baby Mary. Jesus together. So then of course, they traveled to Bethlehem and the long, long distance. And the Bethlehem was so full, was there any room for them to stay anywhere? No, there was no room at all. So they ended up staying where? In a manger. In the stable. The manger is, I know a lot manger. of people call the, it a manger, but the manger is actually the food trough for the animals. The stable is the barn where they stayed. So yes, the stable. And then another angel came. Which, what did this angel come to? This angel came to Joseph. That's right. Well, no, not Joseph. That we already did the Joseph part. The shepherds. There you go, the shepherds. And this, we actually kind of learned this part. So let's see, Alexis, if you remember. We haven't reviewed it much this year yet. Let's see if you remember what the, the angel said. So the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid, the shepherds were. So afraid. And the angel said unto them, what the angel say? Fear not, for I am with for be thee. Close your fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. That's right. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. So if you notice, a lot of times when the angels come, they start off and they say, fear not. And how do you think, how could we be angels here on earth? What are some things we could do to be angels? I wonder if anybody has any ideas of what we could do to be angels here on earth. Can you think of any ways? Maybe just being a peacemaker and being calm and being loving and kind. So remember the angels always came with good news. They came and they always said, fear not. They didn't want anybody to be afraid. They came with kindness and they, they brought good news for all of, the, all of the different angels came. So we can be true angels. So I'm gonna show you how you can make an angel for your tree. You can actually use a piece of paper if you want to. Or a paper plate. And you can cut a circle. So this is actually the perfect size of a plate. So you could actually take a plate, put it on a piece of paper and trace around it. And then you can make um, your paper plate angel that way. Or if you have paper plates, they're nice to use because they're a little thicker and sturdier and they tend to have these little ripples on the edge. And the little ripples on the edge are really nice. They give a nice little touch to your angel. So this one's kind of done and cut out. And then you would just staple it here on the back or you could use some really good tape. 
um, a stapler probably works the best. And if you can see, I actually cut a little bit of strip around there. So you can do that or you don't have to do that as well. So I'm gonna show you on the paper plate the marks you need to make. So you're gonna take two marks up at the top. So you're gonna, you're gonna start on yours. Whoops, where's your pen? Oh, here's your pen, Alexis. So oops, you're gonna make two marks up at the top, kind of almost like a V. I know it's a little bit wider than a V, but this is where the angel's head is going to be. So there's gonna be two marks here up at the top for the angel's head. Then you're gonna make two more marks to make the wing. So this makes one wing and this makes the other wing. So you're actually only making four lines on your paper plate. Can you see it okay on the screen, Alexis? And it's probably a little tricky, isn't it? There, so you've got the two lines up at the top for the head and the two lines at the bottom that kind of make the wings for our angel. So then after you have those markings made, next you're going to cut. Ooh, very nice. And it's nice because you can do different um, sizes. You can do a larger skirt. You can decide you want to do larger wings. So then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut along those lines to make the, so this, the two bottom lines, I'll show you here, the two bottom lines are actually for the skirt. So we're gonna cut these two, so you're basically just making four cuts on your paper plate. So there's two cuts there for the skirt. And then you're gonna cut up here and make two more cuts for the wings. And it's also the head. And that's really your basic design for your angel and then this back part folds over we don't actually fold it over until we do some drawing on your angel so you can take this um i'll show you the one i did draw and if you can see on this one i actually cut around that made a little bit of a head so you can do that or you could just fill in all that space with hair and there's a lot of ways you can decorate the wings it has a really pretty design if you use a paper plate already but you can draw some little lines on there if you'd like to. You can decorate the skirt. You can actually give her hands too. If you wanna give her hands, um, you would just draw those on. So you're using the same cutting principles, um, but if you wanna give her hands, let me make sure it's not shining on there. So I just kind of give her um, sleeves like this. There, see if you kind of give her little sleeves like that and she kind of has, can be holding her hands right there. So if you want to give your little angel hand, she can have hands. And of course she needs a little halo. Another fun thing to do is you can actually add glitter on here too if you want to. And then when you feel like you have your angel exactly how you look, that you've made as well. But we'd like to just finish off with a nice little prayer I'm um, just praying and asking God to help us be angels here on earth. So ready to say a little prayer? So dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to be our savior. Please use us to tell the message of his love and salvation to others. Help us be angels here on earth. And we love you, Jesus. Amen. And thank you so much for joining us today, everybody. Stay tuned for 12 days of paper crafts and devotions. Bye! Bye. Thanks for joining us for the 12 Days of Christmas Paper Craft Devotionals. Check out all 12 of our videos on our playlist, 12 Days of Christmas. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 gifts for Jesus, 11 Christmas cookies, 10 toy filled stockings, 9 noisy reindeer, Eight Christmas cards, seven ornaments, six candy canes, five jolly, jolly berries, four pretty snowflakes, three Christmas trees, two many circles, and an angel on top of my tree. Merry Christmas, Merry everyone! Christmas. And a Happy New Year! On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me An angel up on top of my tree